Hello YouTube, Plightbringer here again, and we are going to be playing game two of our RPG week that's only going to be three RPGs. Shush, it's my channel, I get to do what I want. Uh, we are playing Warhammer Vermintide, a another one that is currently on sale for $10 on the Xbox One shop. We are playing through the tutorial level because I can't decide on which of the five characters I want to play as. Um, first off, I'm going to tell you this game is pretty. Um, the trees... Eh? But the grass and the bushes and... Like, to me... Now, I'm playing it on the Xbox One, and I'm going to assume that this... I think this came out on cons or on um, PC first. But... To me, the trees... Here, we'll, we'll get to some places with easier to see trees later. Right. At least the dwarf seems to have wandered off. Sweet relief for ears and news. I like her voice. Um, the game is making us play as the Way Watcher, which is kind of the ranger type meant for speedy attacks and the bow. Um, but what I was talking about, the trees look more like they're... Like, they were designed from from the trunk up, then put the branches on, and then somebody just kind of draped the blanket sprite over the branches to give them... Like, right there, here in the center, it looks just kind of like green blankets all over the tree. So, the, the tree graphics aren't my favorite in a game, but at the same time, I don't usually play games that look like this for the trees. Like, you go even into Skyrim, their trees look kind of meh. And since this is Warhammer, I've never, I've only played one Warhammer game before. And that game was, I think, Warhammer 2000 or 21 something something. It was a top-down left and right stick shooter. Which isn't Oh, my favorite kind of game. Again. I mean, it worked, but it was kind of meh. Um, but you hear Warhammer a lot, so when I saw that this one was there, and my brother told me I should check out all the sales, so I got I got more than a couple of games than I probably shouldn't have. I do like the combat mechanics. I wish I could remap my own buttons, though. Because I don't like games that make my crouch the B button. Or, um... I'm also kind of amazed there's no, like, radar or threat indicator whatsoever. Until you get hit. You can dodge to the left or the right. Oh, right. Dodge left. I forgot I'm still in the tutorial, so there are things I need to do for it to shush. Okay, you're on fire, so we're gonna get rid of you. Kill the enemy using charge. Aisha, the bridge is armored. Ooh. I hate charge attacks in a combat game like this. Nobody saw that. Like just like in um Oblivion or um, their Skyrim. Charge attacks usually involve you standing there, doing nothing for a good two or three seconds in a very fast-paced action game. I'll be the one doing the pushing around here, thank you.
Did I just screw that one up? Yep, I screwed it up. Yeah, that's gonna hurt in the long run. Oh, wow, I think I just died there. But, again, if they're kind of following the Warhammer slash... Skyrim Elder Scrolls formula. Ugh, I should get going. I kind of hope there aren't a whole heck of a lot of. Feel right. I really like her voice. I might play as the ranger character just for that. I think I can't reach you. Greet my bold scum. Okay, why did my arrow not hit that one? Do the arrows have an arc? If so, I wish I could see where my arrows land. Now, I don't like that the tutorial makes you use this character in particular. Not because I don't like her, just I would like to see how the other characters handle. But I, I can't do that. See, like, they hear the arrow, but I can't even see where the arrow is going. And this one, like, I'm close enough. My arrows should be hitting him. But see, it just kind of disappears after maybe five or ten feet, so... I can't tell where they're going. Otherwise, this game looks very, very clean. The combat is pretty polished. I mean, the nitpicks I have are nitpicks I have. They've got nothing to do with anybody else. Like, they're not problems I find with the game. It's just personal problems I find with the game in relation to the way I like to play a game. Like, I don't like melee games yeah. where I have I to agree that one should try everything to once, do that. But that's one, just see if two. it can take care of those I mean, on the third second, I'm dropping that charged attack, and I'm like, that... I hate that. I do get bombs, though. Now, I have gone through this tutorial once already to be able to fiddle with the settings and get to where I wanted to be on this game. Um, there is an achievement for doing the tutorial for freeing this guy, and you do have to hold the buttons to do things like that. Now, let's not go out of our way to tell the world right? How about you tell anyone of this, and I cut you down myself? The rest of them. We'll be back any minute. Should have a look around to see if there's anything of use. See, here the game tells me to pick up a barrel, and the barrel's gonna go here and just blow up this pile of crap. The game does nothing in this tutorial to point out why I want to blow up the pile of crap. So I'm like. Is that going to mean that in random places in the world, this is just teaching me how to pick stuff up? Because there's, there's nothing that tells me there's something here or anything like that. Like, I picked up barrel and thought I was going to use it to, like, maybe blow up the rat people or destroy, like, a barrier of some sort. Also, there's no sprint button. I'm, I'm used to games like this having a sprint button. Now, your character does move pretty, pretty decently quickly, and you can heal other players, it looks like, all, like, Left for Dead style. I don't know what the 
potion does. Like, it tells me to drink the potion, and I keep looking at my health, and it doesn't go up. Oh, that's the actual thing. Dude, stop stealing all my kills. A little more. Okay, being able to machine gun a bow is pretty good. Doggone it. First time I did this, I didn't die. I got to half HP. The sooner I'm out of this half-drained, rotten countryside, the better. Aye, after Stromdorf, it's Uber Strike for me. Wait, what? You're going to Uber Strike too? Aye. Uh, but you're not going there by river, right? No. Oh, oh thank Glorious. Neither are you. The bloody storms collapsed a bunch of Ungat manling bridges, blocking all river traffic. Unbelievable. I'll be stuck with you on a coach all the way to Uberstrike. Aye, should be one waiting for us at the Thunderwater Inn. Baden Gorrickson at your service. And this game does look pretty. Like, lightning. Dang. Although for my play style, I might up the gamma a bit. But I hope if any of you guys think this looks good, you'll you'll give it a shot. Um, I will see you tomorrow with the third game. It's going to be a lot less dark, a lot less serious, hopefully. Um, and I'm really looking forward to recording some, some footage for that one. So I will see you then. Lights out.